Oh no, I didn't hit record. <gasps> what? If you produce in Logic Pro, you're about to learn some shortcuts that will make you feel like a wizard. I guarantee you're not using all of these. I'm so excited to show you. Let's jump right into it. Lightning round, no fluff. If you are doodling around, love what you did, but forgot to hit record, all you have to do is press Shift R and bam, it is there. Let's say you want to move this region to this track. All you have to do is highlight the region, highlight the track you want to move it to, and press shift Control t Bam! So most of you probably already know that if you highlight a bunch of regions and press J, it will join them together. But did you know that if you select multiple regions on multiple different tracks and press Command-J, bam, it'll move them together? If you want to quickly chop up any audio track by removing the silences, all you have to do is select the audio track and press Control X. This window will pop up and you can pick the threshold. And once you're okay with it, you press OK and bam, all of the silences have been removed. I have this audio sample of a snare that I quickly want to double using Logic Instruments. This is what the sample sounds like. Now, if I select it and press Control D, this window pops up. I wanna make sure the instrument is snare. I press OK and check it out. Logic created a MIDI track for me and this window popped up where I can actually go through and pick a sound. Let's hear how some of these sound. And I love using the layering snares. Check this out. It adds so much. Let's say you're working with a bunch of plugins and you have a bunch of them open and you just want them to like disappear for a second. All you have to do is press V to hide and then V to reappear. And if you want to quickly close them all at once, all you have to do is hover over an exit of one of these and press shift, click, and bam, they're all gone. Ah! Let's say I want to go back and undo something I did like 20 minutes ago, but I don't want to hit Command Z over and over and over again. What you can do is press Option Command Z. This window will pop up, which is your undo history. And right now you can see it's like 1130 on August 9th. And I can go all the way back to the start of the session, which was at 10. And I want to go back before I merge the tracks together, which was over here. All I have to do is click this and everything's going to go back to then. Check it out. Bam. How cool is that? Let's say I'm working on my arrangement and I want to go through and mute some of these regions. I want to test it out. So all I have to do is select the region and press Control M to mute a bunch. I want to mute this one. 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 And I want to mute this one. Now let's say I want to select all of the muted regions so I can delete them all. All I have to do is click outside of here so nothing is selected. And then I'm going to press Shift M and all of the muted regions are selected and I can just quickly delete. Let's say I'm going through and I'm organizing my track. So these are keys, these are bass, this is bells, and I want these regions to have the same name label as this track. So all I have to do is select everything, press Shift Option N, and bam, there it is. The names on the regions match the names on the track, which is really helpful for organizing. I want to show you one more bonus tip that is going to blow your mind. So sometimes you want to open up an instrument, but you don't want to have to go all the way over here and then double click on this and it opens. So here is a super quick way to do this. All you have to do is hold down command and double click on the instrument icon and bam, it opens it up. Bam, it opens it up. How cool is that? If you start using some of these key commands in your workflow, you're going to be super surprised about how much time you're saving and how many more creative ideas you have. But you might be saying, I can't memorize them all. Well, that's why I made my Logic Pro Crash Course, which includes this ebook with over 400 quick Logic Pro tips. You can access it on your iPad or you can access it right on your, whoops. Or you can access it right on your desktop. Right now, the Logic Pro ebook is on sale. I'll link it in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about Logic Pro, music production, or entrepreneurship. And I'll see you next week.